dear students of the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology have started arriving in their numbers at the university's campus. The reopening of our university was postponed indefinitely following government's directive to institute measures to screen foreign students due to Ebola scare in the country. Meanwhile, foreign students at the university say they are yet to be screened of the Ebola virus disease, as earlier said. Uh, they would undergo thorough uh, or through the process on arrival. Mahmoud Mohammed Nuruddin has uh, joined me over the telephone for an update on the situation. Mahmoud, you're welcome to the program. Uh, tell us what's going on in uh, the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology as far as uh, checking into school is concerned. I mean, what is going on right now uh, is that we have most of the, some of the students on campus uh, especially the foreign students, uh, they call it international students, and uh, they, some of them have been there for weeks now. They are spoke to them and they say they have been there for two, some I mean, have been there for three weeks now. And uh, according to the information I am gathering is that uh, those that uh, are now on campus haven't gone to the screening process, a process that we, we were told earlier that the students will go to. And uh, I asked them why they haven't gone to that process. And what they are telling me is that uh, they were asked to fill a form. And that was all that they asked them to do. They haven't gone to any screening process uh, to find out whether uh, there is any, I mean, Ebola or something like that. Uh, but they, they, they said they, 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 they were, they went through some screening at the airport. But for the school, uh, they are yet to go through the process. I spoke to uh, the president for the international students, uh, Victor Amadi, and he told me uh, it is true that the students have filled some forms, but they will surely go through the process anytime soon. He was uh, also telling me that the, 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 some of them, he, he said some of them have gone through the process, but we're wondering, and uh, we were asking where and how they went through the process and said they have some equipment. Uh, but it was unfortunate we didn't get those equipment to uh, take pictures of them to, I mean, really confirm some of them went through the process. So immediately I decided to uh, speak to the two uh, school authorities. I uh, called the GPC register Ankama Lomote to have an interview with him about the situation and he uh, told me he was on leave and that he cannot speak to me on camera now. But he said uh, he, he could be that those students we spoke to uh, were not supposed to go through the screening process. That is why they haven't gone to back. They are put it, they are, the students are supposed to go to the process. I see. Uh, right. Thank you very much for uh, that update, Mahmoud. Mahmoud Mohammed Nuruddin joined us from the Ashanti region.